Hello, morning. So good, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Kung mula ko kahango sa ni karon. Wait, sa aha. There you are. Good morning, good morning. Still waiting for everyone to come in. Tay Usa, kian sama ni. Duha, so far. Comment ko na makakomment ba mo? Please comment if you can comment so I will know you are there. I have two viewers so far. How is my audio? Kumusta? Morning, good morning. Walay mga comment. Try to comment kung dili mga comment. Oh, there you are. Margarito is here. Levy na po duha pa mo kamo panduha so far. Mo replay lang ni. Oh, that's okay. No worries. Pindi regarding di tama glassy. Ampai ke sini maestro. Okay, rang audio very good, thank you. Dua apa tak so far? Pabu pabu tu nato ngoban. Kapu ya pun cikgu rumus solo tes tong schedule eh. Okay, where's everyone? Do hapa so far? Oh, I addressed ako i mohang question left. Karon pwede ka kung tuba gundaan karon since you are already here. Chicken ramo gundo ka ayo. Oh, since do hapa mo ma review ramo ni sa uban ako kung tuba gund si Levi. Ani man ni siya dayo. Actually, to be honest, wala pugo ka balo sa answer. Okay, ano ni siya, Lev? Ang total, makitaan naman ni siya yung classmates later. Yung mula ka umon mo by 9.30. Okay. Ano ni siya, no? So, as I mentioned before, decreasing ang temperature from the surface to about 10 kilometers. So, actually, ang naming sa layers of our atmosphere is based on this temperature profile. So, Kini troposphere and tawag stratosphere because of this. And this is called inversion. Okay? So when the temperature changes, it's normally decreasing. And then when, when it increases, it's called an inversion. Temperature inversion. Hindi maklaro akong i-type sa comment. It's called inversion. And then, mabalik na po siya normal din hinig-abot sa mesosphere. And then there's another inversion. Okay, going back. This is decreasing the, the temperature. Good morning, Merle. Good morning, Lian. Pila upat. Onom na mutanan so far. Charena. Okay, I'll just read your FB names. Ha, kayo. Wala pa po ko kailagin ninyo tanan. When I see you, though, I do recognize your faces. However, in 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 the case of your names, wala po ko sa ulo ninyo tanan. Sige mo, absent sa una gun. Hehe. Okay, going back to Levy, morning, he addressed question 11 last time. It's 
decreasing mainly because ang muinip is actually the surface of the earth it's not the atmosphere okay most of the atmosphere yes is located sa ubus no dere radapita in fact concentrated sa dinhi about one third na gani kuno ni oh no wait two thirds i think ang nasa troposphere good morning tanan Okay, nagparamdam ng mga tao. There are nine of you so far. Charena, Gary, Jean Grey, Saldona. Okay. Sige, so, anyway, katong dili makago online this time, you can you can watch this one later. That that's, I think that's the best part with doing this on, on FB. Okay, again, again, balik ta. The temperature is in decreasing gikan sa surface on average this is about 15 degrees celsius the surface earth when as we go higher okay within the troposphere temperature is decreasing magkagamay question nanuman it's because ang main source sa heat is uh, let's put it this way it may be the sun but the sun is not as effective in heating the air. So the sun is actually heating the surface of the earth. Okay? So in init sa surface sa earth, muagi ang hangin sa surface sa earth, motong mo init siya. Okay? So the higher we go, magkabug na po. Another reason why it is getting cooler as we go higher is ang gitawag na itong adjabatic cooling. So if there's a, a mass of air. Okay. May tatog mademon ako, no? Wait. Not a mass of air, for example. Uh, I like this one. Brush. Um, okay, this one. Not a mass of air, for example. Once mong saka na siya, nakuha po na niyo, eh. Okay, we have a mass of air. Inigsaka na niya, padong babaw, no? Mo expand po na siya. Kay, mas lesser naman ang pressure dito sa babaw kay sa ubos. Diba? So, it, it will also expand while it rises. So, kini, for example, going back, kani siya, diba? Ang pressure magkataas. Mag the higher the elevation, the lower the pressure. So, if we think of a mass of air, kani siya, when it goes up, since ang palibot niya gamay ng pressure, this will also expand. If a mass of gas expands, it will actually cool down. So a perfect example would be, that's why naman yun siguro mo o butane na nailik, inigsirit anak niya, di ba, bugnaw? Right? Say yes kung naka-experience mo. Give me another example ng anang compression o letting loose a hangin or any gas in particular. So, ang Ang LPG, liquefied petroleum gas, or ang fluid sa lighter, moingon mo bugnaw. Pariharam na sa alcohol, sir. Bugnaw na siya by nature. No. Okay. Ang alcohol is bugnaw. You can feel it nga bugnaw because it evaporates faster than water. So when it evaporates, it absorbs the heat surrounding the alcohol. Okay. Similarly, but not exactly the same mechanism, kanang gas nga naa sa butane for example mulik inig pagawas niya mubugnaw dili na siya bugnaw daan it's because of the expansion of gases that's why it's cold okay in the same manner maybe you've noticed what basically ta or motor whatever ug bumbahan ninyo labi nagdugay og bumba inig pasulod ninyo og hangin mo init okay so when you compress air or any gas when you try to compress it yes a lighter when you try to compress air Muinit siya. When you try to expand something, mubugnaw siya. That's another reason nga nung mas bugnaw siya sa ibabaw. So, if there's a parcel of air nga gikan sa ubos na init tungod sa surface, it's because the surface is init. When it rises, it expands. It increases in volume. It's the same amount, ha? Say, think of a parcel of air like 1 kilogram in terms of weight. When it goes up, its volume changes. So initially, siguro, it's about maybe usaka sako nga hangin, usaka kilo sa surface. But when it rises, padung babaw, it's still usaka kilo, but its volume, it's okay. Katong gusto mo out, just out na mo, panglayas mo, okay? So, 
while it rises, ang usa ka sako nga usa ka kilo nga air changes to duha ka sako or tulo ka sako. Meaning its volume is actually increasing without changing the amount. Mao ra gihapon, ha? So when it actually expands, it will cool down. So that's the reason why sa iba bao mas bugnaw. Okay, now ang question. Damn. Kadiyat sa I'll take this. Kinakus ganing uh, busing. Kami. Oh. Wala siya eh. Kadiyat guys ha guys. Lan. Oh, Wi-Fi di ay. Pwede ra. Kung na siya, Wi-Fi sa ila. Pero nga nung mag-LAN adapter man siya, o walay LAN, eh pa-Wi-Fi na lang, wireless adapter na lang ihatag. Okay? Or kung kung, kung gusto gin siya o kable, wa, wala po tayo available nga USB to LAN nga adapter. Naman po na siya ang ta. Pero wala tayo available. Okay? O wala ta na. Wala ta na. Pero o, Wi-Fi na. Pwede, pwede ra o USB. O. O. Okay? Sige, klasis ako. Sige, sige. Okay, sorry guys. Kanang asawa. Last time kamo ba to the same class nga diya po yung nanawag? Monday talag sara na magklase mo po yung panawag ganun mga tao. Pero kini kay asawa man. Tahod yun kay outside na kulambo. Taani. Okay, boys. Diba niha? Mga babae ganun yung manawag ninyo. Mga uyab ninyo. Mga asawa ninyo. Ay ginag-ignore kay may ate noon. Okay? Padayon ta. Padayon ta. So, okay na to. It's decreasing because, again, the source of heat is now the ground. It's not the sun per se. Okay? The sun heats up the ground. The ground heats up the air above it. When the air is heated, muinit man siya, so it will expand. When it expands, it rises. When it rises, it further cools down. That's why it's cooling down. And then, pag abutin hi, miinit na pudog balik. Naatay gitawag nga. Temperature inversion, okay? Nga naman, it's because, tinhinga part, all, ang, ang hangin is not a major factor anymore. It's because, dipis na ang, ang hangin diri. However, however, na diri ang ozone layer na to. Nya, ang ozone, once hit by UV radiation, ang O3 will break down into ordinary oxygen o usang atomic oxygen. So, when it's broken down, it's actually an exothermic process. Sakto si Inday Levy. Sir, di ba... Ang hinungaw sa surface. Na question si Margarito. Sir, di ba ang hinungaw sa surface maoy makapainit sa hangin? Maximum ozone rapod. Kutob ang init, sir. Bugnaw na sa itaas. Tratopos. Okay. I continue na ko na ha. Yes, Margarito, ang ang surface maoy gipainit sa adlaw. O niya, ang, ang surface maoy nagpainit sa hangin. That's correct. O niya, going back, na naman sa ozone karon. Uh, in about kini this is actually the the ozone layer okay kini maximum lang ning apart din he but basically the whole thing here it it's called the, the ozone layer na to okay so it's it's the stratosphere mostly ang components nga din ha o3 again when uv radiation strikes o3 or ozone it breaks down into o2 ug o lang atomic oxygen when you break this down, it's actually an exothermic process, meaning mo generate siya yung heat. Okay? So, it's increasing. It's increasing. Okay? And yeah, mas daghan po ang reaction din. Hey, kaya diri man mas unang masala na to sa babaw. Mas daghan man diri ang ang UV radiation. Igabot diri sa ubus-ubus. Gamay-gamay naman lang UV. Muna nga, o padung ta diri ubus, okay? Magkaubos po ng temperature. Karon iniglapas sa stratopause, abot na punta sa mesos, mesosphere. Okay, it's also decreasing. Misamot na kanipis ang hangin din. He. So, at the end of the day, wala na yung initon. Wala na initon. So, that's why it's getting cooler and cooler na po. Okay, pero tingnipisa naman sa hangin din. He. So, it, it balik na punta sa similar din sa obos. So, as we go higher, temperature is getting lower na po sa mesosphere. Now, almost zero na ang hangin din yung napita. So, wala na initon mo na nga magkabugnaw siya, magkabugnaw. Din hipod, ang katong mga radiation ay kabot po rin sa thermosphere. Okay? Samot na kawala na hangin din. It's actually, mura na ni siya frontier sa 
hinay akong audio. Sorry. Ako na ba yung hapit? Ikaon sa luna akong microphone. Oh, tarungan ang imong dunggan. <laughs> Sige, akong i-correct. How about, ana? Please provide feedback. I'm happy nga may provide dog feedback si Saldona, si Margarito. I'm, from time to time, I'm looking at your comments, man. How's my audio this time? Maybe I'm going so fast. Oh, thermosphere na ta. It's, go, it's increasing na po ang temperature because din he, it's very sparse na ang matter. It's almost space na ni din he. So meaning, you can think of one gas molecule Ang sunod nga gas molecule, perting layo ah. Okay? So, ug na anay adlaw, katong gas molecule, muki ato da yun, inigawa sa adlaw, maigo. Pero ikagabi, ipuntog na kayo. It's so hot, pero you cannot feel nga hot. It still, it still feels cold because you are almost touching nothing. Okay? So, taas kayo temperature on a per atom basis. But if we talk about the whole space din he, Charisa, okay na kuno akong audio. Saldona, i-check ang imuhang ko anday. So, the whole space din he is just literally space. So, wala na. Na yung mga sparse ng mga atoms, mora to'y mo init once maigo sa radiation sa adlaw. Ingan si Lian, okay na kuno. Loud and clear. Okay. Okay, good, good to hear that. So, um, mora to'y maigo sa adlaw and that's why it is increasing din he on a per molecule basis na na siya. So actually, huwag mo gawas ka kung tahay wala kay space suit, for example. It's still really, really cold. Pero maigo ka kung sa ka-atom, you, you, you won't actually feel it nga init. Pareha na good na huwag uh, think, of, think of boiling water nga one drop imong ipatulo sa imuhang kamot o boiling water nga one cup imong iabos imong kamot asay mas init sa duha boiling pareha sila 100 degrees celsius actually the same slag temperature but ang katong gamay ra kayo you almost not feel it kay tungod sa kagamay niya mao na siya din ha okay so bugnaw lang gyapon din he but actually the temperature is still very high it's increasing because directly it it uh, it si tawag ini interacts with the other mga rays pod gigikan sa sun so, maigo na diha. Lahit na po ng composition din sa ibabaw. Okay? So, padayon ta. Next slide. I'll give you a little time para sa pag kuan ani pag basa. Basa sa ninyo. Then I'll ex explain later. Give you maybe one or two minutes to read this one. Okay, so motions Earth duha. Okay, we have rotation sa iyahang kaugalingon nga axis ug revolution around the sun. Okay, the distance kono between the Earth and the sun, ang average niya is about 150 million kilometers. Okay, since dili man circular, elliptical man ang orbit, sometimes duol ta sa sun, sometimes layo ta sa sun. Okay, on January 3, okay, January 3, every year, this is every year, ha? Pinakaduol ang Earth sa Sun, 147.3 million. It's called the Perihelion. Perihelion. Okay, January 3 na, pinakaduol. Pinakalayo po sa Sun, July 4, about... 152.1 million kilometers. That is what we call as uphelion pod nga event. Okay? Now, January 3 nga pinakaduol, ting tugnaw na. July 4 nga pinakalayo, ting init na. So for sure, that is not 
the reason nga nung adunay seasons sa Earth. Nga nung natay winter. In, in fact, ang January, bahig pa na siya sa winter. So, kaya you know, the sun receives up to 7% more energy in January than in July. Kanang 7% is not significant enough to affect the temperatures that we can feel on Earth. Okay? So, klarong istorya, it's not the distance of the, the Earth to the sun that is affecting the temperatures that we perceive. Or, it's not the reason why we have um, kinigitawag na itong uh, seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall. Okay? Uh, so, pautan na next on saman. Okay, look at this one. It's actually the, earth, the, the, earth, the, the tilt of the Earth's axis. Ang tilt sa axis, okay, this is the axis. Kani, kani patubang dito obos. So, gatakilid actually ang Earth. Okay? So, kung gatakilid siya, ang iyahang Tahar, paharag is about 23 degrees and one half gikan sa vertical okay anaha internalize ang mayo that's the reason why you see globes mga globe representation si earth, sa earth ang iyahang position is dili yun ingon nga vertical ang iyang axis gituyo po na siya og tahirig just like this one okay ako lang Ato sa ning dawaton sa pagkakaroon and then I will go back to this slide later. Okay? Ibalikan lang nako ning slide. So this is kini nga mga lines, mao ni ang axis niya. Ang lines perpendicular sa axis are this. Equator na to, this is 30 degrees north, 66 and one half degrees north latitudes ni siya. Okay? 23 and one half degrees south latitude south of the equator. Asaman located ang Philippines. Asaman dapat located ang Philippines. That's the earth. So, pati yung tuyo ko na to. Bisan asa, wala ni axis nga tuyo tuyo ka. Ah. Ang Philippines is located above the equator. So, it's about, din he, butangan na itong marker. Sa ha? It's about wait. Naraw. It's about four degrees sa pinaka south. Four degrees twenty six. Onya sa pinaka north. Na somewhere din eh. It's around twenty degrees. Okay. So what does that mean? Ang location nato. Ang location nato is above the equator. Dayon. This is the equator, kaning zero line. Babaw ta, tunga-tunga ta between zero and thirty. Naman ta sa around four to twenty degrees. Okay? We're north of the equator. Okay, kani. Sige. Uh, Mone ang, ang extremes. Ang extremes. Think of this as ang extremes. We have the summer solstice. Okay? The winter solstice. And the two equinoxes. Okay? Ang September nga equinox o ang September equinox o ang March nga equinox. This is called uh, kini ang vernal equinox. Ang kini usa is autumnal equinox. Okay? If I may write that one. When we say equinox, when we say equinox, both pa sabot equal nights. Mo na gitawag na siya og equinox, equal nights. So, on March 21 to 22 every year, ang length sa adlaw ug sa gabi equal. So that's dusi dusi, 12 hours nga daylight, 12 hours nga walay daylight. On September 22 to 23 pod. Okay, 12 hours nga daylight, 12 hours po nga walay daylight. Then he, during the summer solstice, this is called the summer solstice, which occurs in June 21, 
Okay? You may have noticed, it's the longest day. Diba? Taas kayo ang adlaw. Dugay kayo mahuman. So, taas ang adlaw, bubu ang gabi. Din hipod, taas ang gabi during winter solstice, bubu ang adlaw. Okay? Okay, ang sama na ito, ipag-imagine ha. So, asa may ako ipakita ninyo. Wait sa ha. Uh, okay, kani, for example. Imagine na sa aning, uh, try to imagine this. The axis as vertical. Think of the axis as as vertical. Uh, think of the axis as vertical. What will happen? What will happen kung vertical ang axis? Ani na lang. Ani, lisod kayo pag-imagine. Kaning white lines, kaning puti nga linya, think of it as equal to 12 hour, uh, 24 hours. Okay? So, kaning usa ka linya, proportionately, from here, kutob diri, that's 24 hours. Kani, kutob diri, that's the corresponding duration for daylight. Gikan diri, kutob din he, that's the corresponding duration for night time. Okay? The same is true with the other lines. So, that's 30 degrees north. Kini, right now, uh, uh, this is summer solstice. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. Winter solstice nisha. Okay? Look at this one. This is also 12 hours from here towards here. If you are 66 degrees north, you don't, you, you almost don't see any light at all. Meaning, gabi itanan. Does that make sense? Ngit ngit tanan imong adlaw. O gabi eh. So ang adlaw ni mo, kumbaga, musubang sa horizon, muset sa horizon ra gihapon. Okay, I'll show you this one. Kani? So this is in in Norway. So, na naman sila sa northern hemisphere dapit, nortira dapit. So ang subang, dire dapit. Unya, mudaga ng adlaw, daga ng adlaw, daga ng adlaw. Ing ana yan dagan. Ari siya musaw sa pikas. Pero ihing tungtong juga sa North Pole, ah, makita na ni mo permi magtuyo. Okay? Mo nang sometimes they call it nga. Unsa ni? Margarito, klaruhan ni dong, wala kay ko kasabot dong. Nay ada. Tapos na asay 6 AM ES. Ingon si Margarito, mao day na ay bulan, dili bulan nga moon bulan nga month okay there are times nga 6 pm ngit ngit na na times nga hayag pa so going back ani okay magtuyo ko na siya sa mo horizon A ako ipakita magdisod lang ko og explain but okay kani kani balikan tani okay so tilted man siya so kuntahay na ba koy ma-animate I don't know if I can show you a video on that. No, my tag. Um, let me find a video. It's a YouTube. Kajat ha. Kajet lang guys ha. Ako sang tanawon. I'm trying to look for a video online. Tanawon to. ako yung nakitaan mga Indian man. I think this is for a while ha. Nag Nagpili ako guys o kuan para animation nga probably it would be a lot easier to understand. Uh, 
Sani. Kita romo. Aku lagi pakai tak tanawa. Walai audio kay dia arah nak ang audio so I'm so ang axis niya ang ana so as you can see um, this is actually during winter ang southern hemisphere is exposed more sa sun kung naka sa north pole di ba na times nga in in this particular position sigi lang kagabi ining tuyok okay so kini po dire Permanente po ning adlaw dire. This is actually during the the during the longest nights or during the winter solstice. Maorane. I'll try to find another video ha. Kare. Kani for example. Tanawa ta. There's a tilt axis. Kini, when the axis is sort of okay, fixed in position, like to yoksia, ang axis is pointed towards the sun. Okay, so that means ang ang axis na to. This is actually during the summer solstice. Look, oh, tanawa. Okay. Takes 24 hours para makumpit tanawa sa ninyo. Si, okay. Okay, tanawa. Diba? Pingis. Pingis. Ako nang i-pose. So, kini, on daylight ni siya. Now, huwag na ka sa South Pole. This is slightly, ang axis na to is facing towards the sun. Okay, so meaning, ang tanan areas above the equator, so ang equator is somewhere here, padong din he, is getting more sun exposure than the southern hemisphere. Okay? Mao ni mahitabu sometime June, July, August. Mao ni siya'y summer. Okay? Na may delay gamay. Ngayon mo nga, sir, dapat unta May, June, July kay ang summer solstice is in August man. Actually, it's actually magsugod sa June, July, patubang August ang ang summer. Kaya doon ay delay sa sa events. Okay? Hindi man yung anak kadali pagpainit o pagpabugnaw sa sa Earth. See? Tanawa. Kung naka sa North Pole, bisa kung saog tuyok, igo ka sa Adlao, Permi. Comment ko nga. I do not see your comments. Okay? Kung naka sa North Pole, igo Permi sa Adlao. Kung naka sa South Pole, gabi i permi. Ang mura pagkadlaon permi or hapon permi. Like dawn or, or dusk. Okay? Half of the earth is always illuminated. The other half is always gabi i. Pero which part of that mauna yung istorya ho nun? Let me continue the animation. Okay, night ang katunga, the other half is day. Okay. Lahit ng puni. Okay, so, so, ang, ang direction sa axis sa Earth is actually fixed. Okay? It's fixed like that. So, inigtuyok niya, inigtuyok niya, kung nasa dire, ang axis is pointing away sa sun. So, it's pointing to the right. Inigtuyok niya, padong dito, inigabot ang march, it's still pointing to the right. Inigtuyok niya, padong dire, sometime June, it's still pointing to the right. Okay? Have you noticed that one? Inigtuyok na po padong dire in September, it's still pointing to the right. Okay? So, tanawa dire. This is during the summer solstice. Ang South Pole, okay, is permanenting gabi eh. Bisa kung saan pagtuyok sa Adlao, anang dapita. So, dili ni kay Usara ka Adlao ha. It's the whole 
season. It, I know, it, it's the whole season ngayon ko na ano Okay, I'm sorry. So, oh, okay, it's the whole season, pero mo, mo peak siya on, on June 21. It's the longest day. So, every day prior to June 21, nag-anam kataas, nag-anam kataas ang mga adlaw. Nagkataas siya. Every day after June 21, nag-anam po na siya o kamubo. So, on June 21, exactly, dilip na siya ingon nga kalit, gabi i permanente sa Southern Hemisphere. Sa Northern Hemisphere, halos adlaw permanente na alay tayo mo gabi i in 24 hours. Mubo kayo. That's during the summer solstice, which occurs in June. In December, the same ang direction sa gipoint sa axis, but it's towards the right gihapon. Ang Southern Hemisphere, particularly ang South Pole, adlaw per me. Okay? Ang North Pole po, gabi e per me. So again, you can think of this white line as the duration, uh, equivalent duration of nighttime and daytime. So, kani, this is winter solstice, December. Sa Northern Hemisphere, okay, ang kini, this is actually the, the Tropic of Cancer, Babao, and the Tropic of Capricorn, Rizobos, that's located 23 degrees and one half gikan sa equator, pa north ang Tropic of Cancer, gikan sa equator, 23 degrees and one half pa dong sa south is the Tropic of Capricorn. Uh, tanan sulod na diha mo na ang tropics ang Pilipinas sulod ka ita sa tropics okay so din he you would notice nga sa northern hemisphere think of it as kining a proportion din he kutob dito is longer gikan din he kutob dito so think of the total gikan dire kutob dito as 24 hours so longer than 12 hours ang gabi sa northern part Sa southern part po, southern hemisphere, you would notice nga longer than 12 hours. If this is 24 hours, gikan dire, kutob dire, longer than half, okay, ang daylight kaysa night time sa southern hemisphere. And that's opposite during the, win the, the summer solstice. Okay, correspondingly, if you try to look at the south pole, permanenting adlaw, ang North Pole permanenting gabi. -e. Well, as mentioned kaganiha, during the equinoxes, equal nights or equal days siya. Okay, this will slightly vary from one place to another. Questions so far? Please just comment your answers ha. Oh, rather your questions kung doon mo mga question. If I may go back din he. Okay. Aha, napajila in catch. Wait, on sound ko mani. Mogyapon, mogyapon. Okay, kini represents that length represents 24 hours. Kining part gikan din he kutub diri represents night. Okay, so this is this picture or this particular shot is representing the winter solstice. Longer days sa southern hemisphere, shorter days sa northern hemisphere. Kayo gato ni balihon, think of the sun as being here. Morning mo taas na po ni siya ang Northern Hemisphere during the summer period. Ako ipakita later ha ang uban. Okay, karon Naman na taan eh. Ingon si Margarito, upright mo rotate sir ang Earth. Ang rotation sa Earth, wala o kabalo sa ipot pa sabot ni mo exactly. Ingon say upright, but ang rotation na to, is with respect sa iyang axis. Kaniyang axis? North, south. Kanang line nga nag-connect sa north o south, that's the axis. It's tilted. Huwag um, tuwata sa space, huwag anisay lang taong istorya, to be honest lang, wala, wala kita kabalog, asay babaw, asay ubos, asay left, asay right, if naata sa space. Diba? On earth, um, our points of reference is ubos ang padung sa ground. Right? Ang babaw is ang padong dito sa sky. Okay? But the earth is actually rotating counterclockwise. It's counterclockwise. So, mostly sa Tibok universe, everything are rotating counterclockwise except ang clock. <laughs> Weird, no? 
Okay? So, kung if we think of a plane, mag-imagine lang ta, if we think of a plane, uh, we think of a plane, no, yung ana niya, butangan na to og line, butangan na to og line, for example, nga yung ana, kini nga line, line lang na straight na punuhay, Imagine on na to, on ya, this is the sun, sun kunohai ni, and then this is the earth kunohai. Kuntahai, they are in the same plane. We will call that one the orbital plane. So, kanang ang orbit, so with respect to sun, ang earth is rotating around the sun. So, think of that plane as the orbital plane. Para sa atong reference, ang ato ang ang ato ang axis sa Earth is not perpendicular sa orbital plane. Does that make sense now? Huh? So, if this is our orbital plane, kung ang axis na to is perpendicular, mo form siya 90 degrees. Ana. Yan na, ang muna ng Earth kuno high. Pero kung ang axis na to parallel sa orbital plane, Mo ni ang Earth, mo po ni ang atong axis. Ako lang exaggerate. Ing ana. So, if that is the axis of the Earth, o niya, this is the orbital plane, ang mahitabo is, kani, dire, permaninti ngit-ngit ni dire. Does that make sense? Dire nga side, permaninti ngit. Maluto ni dire. Dire ma-frozen ni. Eh. Kung ang axis na to is along the orbital plane. Kung ingani po ang setup, ang axis na to sa Earth, sa rotation, perpendicular sa orbital plane, 50-50 per me ang adlaw o gabi. Eh. But since it's like this, it, it's slightly, okay, slanted, which is, pila na ka degrees? Bati kayong drawing. It's actually, ana, niya, ana, which is 23.5. Five degrees. Okay. Does that make sense so far? So, Margarito, uh, there's no such thing as upright, but we can think of the sun and the earth as in the same plane. We will call that one the orbital plane. Ang axis na to is not perpendicular sa orbital plane. So, I think that's a little bit clearer now. Okay na. Ha? So, tanawa niyo. Asa man eh. Again, the dere. O niya, kini, ang, ang extremes niya itong isgutan. Summer solstice, pinaka-longest day sa northern hemisphere. Unsa man ang northern hemisphere, tanan lugar from the equator pa sa north pole. Southern hemisphere, tanan lugar gikan sa equator pa sa south pole. During the summer solstice in June 21, Longest day of course aninia niya mas summer sa northern hemisphere. Winter na siya sa southern hemisphere. Summer sa northern hemisphere in June ha. Winter sa southern hemisphere. Unsa mang mga lugar ato sa southern hemisphere? Think of New Zealand, Australia, southern hemisphere na. You may have noticed nga na mo mga partidos dito or kaila saying nga uh, Winter man ron, nga nung init man kayo ninyo diha. O, syempre, kay tuwaman sila sa Southern Hemisphere. I think that makes sense now. Another extreme, kanidere, winter solstice. It's winter sa Northern Hemisphere, summer sa Southern Hemisphere. Another extreme is ang equinoxes, ang vernal o ang autumnal equinoxes. So, din he, think of longest day, okay, Magkamubo, magkamubo ang adlaw, magkamubo, magkamubo ang adlaw, bang! Pag-abot o September, mi equal ang adlaw o gabi. Padayon siyang mubo, mubo, nagkamubo ang adlaw, nagkamubo ang adlaw. Pag-abot ni Re, pinakamubo ang adlaw. Okay? Pinakataas ang gabi. Human, nagkataas ang adlaw, nagkataas ang adlaw, nagkataas ang adlaw. Pag-abot ni Re, angay ang adlaw o gabi. 
nagkataas ang adlaw, nagkataas, nagkataas, kaya po ng adlaw, nagkataas, pag-abot tire, pinakataas ang adlaw. Then, nagkamubo na po, nagkamubo, and so on, the cycle continues. Okay? Okay? Now, kini, tanawa. Muna ni siya karon. Um, June, summer solstice, northern hemisphere summer, tanawa. Sa North Pole, above 66 degrees, nga klaro ra ba 66 degrees 24 hours ang daylight at around 40 degrees north 15 hours ang daylight that's in june okay 23 degrees and one half sa tropic of cancer around 13 and one half hours ang daylight okay equator ang daylight nato 12 hours tropic of capricorn ang daylight nato 10 hours 40 degrees south, 9 hours ang daylight. That is inig hunyo. Okay? During the summer solstice. During the winter solstice, okay, ang northern hemisphere, oh, 9 hours at 40 degrees north. 10 hours, 23 degrees sa Tropic of Cancer. 12 hours sa equator. Okay? 13 hours there is a uh, Tropic of Capricorn. Okay? Then, 24 hours, 66 degrees south. Or sa South Pole. Then, during the equinox, equal, equal, Russia. 12 hours, 12 hours, Russia, Tanan. Equal nights. Equal days and nights. Okay, now. Manghambog na ko. Okay. There was a time nga nakaadto ko og laing lugar man other than the Philippines like I said. Kita diri sa Philippines ang ato ang location is from pila to? Ato ang location sa Philippines? Pila gi range of latitudes na to? Be, please comment your answer. I will wait for your comments. Range of latitudes nga location sa Pilipinas. I'll wait for your answer, ha? Okay, I'm waiting for your comments. Please comment the range of latitudes sa Philippines. Wala pa? Wala pa. It's taking time. Please comment the range of latitude. Asa man located ang Philippines. Latitude lang. Di lang nato sa ilabdan ng longitude. Mm, 13. I'm waiting. Wala pa. Wala pa yung natingog. I'm waiting. Grabe din ang delay, no? I know some of you are already typing your your answers. Mauwahi lang ug abot din hi na punta yung uban nga luoy po kayo ang internet connection. A predator on earth to orbit or sideward or pinaslide like an example. Na pa mo sumpay day sa question ni Margarito. Sa wala na ko ni mabantay da yun. I think na address naman siguro na ako ni ganiha. Orbit or sideward or pin a slide like anang example. Murag okay na. Wala pa comment. Tugaya de eh. Mga 2 to 3 minutes mo abot ang inyohang answer. Come on. I'm waiting. Waiting in vain. Tugaya eh. Sige, padaya na lang ko. Ha? Ah. Wala pa may natingog. There are 10 of you. Asa na? Come on guys. Tingog please. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Ah, na. 14 degrees. Okay. Ingon si Chariza. Nakapalusot na si Chariza. O answer. 14 degrees ko no. Wala na? Lanay line answer. Range man, range. Actually, ang 14 degrees is correct. But the range 
ang halos tanan lugar sa Philippines o oh, 16 mingon po si Lian 16 ah napay napay decimal ah, grabe ha gigugi pangita pa ni gigugol pa ni range mga god of latitudes range of latitudes man range so ang range of latitudes nato is from okay from 5 to 20 degrees north 5 to 20 degrees north that that's approximate ha huh? that's approximate okay so that's 5 to 20 degrees north so ang answers nga uh, 14 degrees that's correct ang 16 degrees is also correct let's see uh, how about argao asa man located ang argao dara pila man ta latitude na to The, if this is argao okay Kailangan approximately ang Argao is around 10 degrees, 9 degrees 52 minutes. Okay, so nata sa mga 10 degrees north. So Argao is located 10 degrees north now. Kabalo nata sa tong klima. Ah, diri we cannot feel exactly. So anak man ang sa Philippines. Let's see. Ah, this one. Look at this. Okay. Naata between ane na lang imagine na lang between zero to twenty three based on this figure lang ba zero to twenty three okay zero to twenty three degrees ah on sa mga tabo during the summer solstice okay naata ang ato ang daylight is between 12 to 13 and a half hours. That's daylight during summer solstice. Okay, during the winter solstice, na amanta dere ang ato ang daylight is between 12 to 10 and a half hours. So meaning, di jud ka ayo mo vary ang day length sa Philippines. Mainly kay duol raman ta sa equator. As you can see, ang equator, awa, during the summer solstice, 12 hours. During winter solstice, 12 hours. During the equinoxes, equator, 12 hours. So if you are sitting on top of the equator, okay, ang duration sa adlaw o sa gabi, regardless of season, will always be the same. Does that make sense na? Ha? Okay? So, mo na siya. Now, as mentioned earlier, nakatamak man ko uglain lugar, um, tag-adto na ko og UK, for example, nakamatngon ko dito nga, uh, of course, tog now. Nga nung na may snow, uguban pa, nurti na biya to kayo. Ako po nang i-explain ninyo. So, at the end of the day, what I'm trying to to explain to you is ang earth is not heated equally okay some areas are heated more than the others okay dito sa sa reading it's about it's located about 51 degrees north so na diri babaw so pagabot na ko dito january pertin tug nawa okay nakaabot bug og june uh, hangtod og mga alas 8 sa gabi hayag ng gyapon Alas 4 sa buntag, hayag na. Alas 8 sa gabi, hayag ng Japan. Okay? So, yung ana ang, ang main nga, nga difference. Onya. Okay. Sabi ha? Kine, Midnight Sun. Mano niya akong gimension nga. O, to ka sa nakadere sa North Pole, the pit. Okay? Location of Norway is about here. Okay? Tanaw na to pila yung latitude sa Norway. Norway mo ko na to. Ano to ha? Itong pangitaon ang Norway. O, oh, dara ang Norway ha? So, kunta hay, kanilang uh, asa dapita ang Norway, ang Oslo. Oslo is about 60 degrees north. Okay? You can see that one. 
Mana iyang latitude? Mana iyang latitude? Okay. Dayon. Tanawa. During the summer solstice. Okay. Nara siya dapit ani nga line. 24 hours nga. Na ay adlaw. During the winter solstice. Halos walay adlaw. Mo na gitawag nila nga land of the midnight sun. And this is the reason why bisan og gabi na or ang adlaw nila magbahas-bahas ra diri ra sa horizon. Okay? Okay. Length of daylight. Kanino tanawa? At klaro ka ini nga table. This is the equator. So mora pud ni siya gi-represent ani kini-kini nga figure. Pero this is in numbers tanawa. Sa equator da pit 12 hours during summer solstice. Winter solstice, 12 gapon. Equinox, 12 gapon. 10 degrees. Hindi, argaw. Summer solstice, 12 hours, 35 minutes. Okay? Sa argaw, dapit. 9 degrees, 52 manta. 11 hours, 25 minutes. Kung winter solstice. Equinox, 12 hours. You go further north, dito mga Batanes, dapit ng area. Summer solstice, 13 hours, 12 minutes. Winter solstice, 10 hours, 48 minutes. 30 degrees, around 30 degrees, north or south latitude. Oh, 13, sa north is 13 hours, 56 minutes, 10 hours, 4 minutes. Dito sa UK, the pitch quinta, 16 hours ang ilahang daylight. 7 hours during summer. Ha? Inig, inig winter, during summer, 16 hours ang daylight. Inig winter, 7 hours. Oh, no, naalag na. Dito na sa Norway, during summer, 18 hours ang daylight. During winter, 5 hours na lang ilahang daylight. O 70 degrees north. Kini North Pole ni 90. 2 months ang daylight no na ah, during summer. O wala na during winter instead of 1 day. Ha? 80 degrees north, 4 months. 90 degrees north. Dito yun sa North Pole yun. 6 months nga na ay adlaw. Inig winter, wala gay adlaw. Diba? It's weird. No. Okay, this one. Gini, ako ning ipakita. Ibalikan ko na later. Ah, sige, sugod sa tadi rin. Mabalik lang ko dito sa kani for example. Sa pumani. Solar angle. Tanawa. 40 degrees north latitude. Doon sa manang naadi sa 40 degrees north. Uh, kasi karan mga temperate countries na din ha. In, on June 21, okay, ang solar angle is about 73 degrees. Kung it's right above your head, ang solar angle is 90 degrees. Kung nagin sa babaw ni mo, udto ha, udto. Udto ni. This is 12 noon. Okay. Sometimes, instead of calling it solar angle, we call it solar altitude. So, it's right on top of your head. Mo na siya 90 degrees. Kini, untong tutok nila around 73 degrees. Sa 40 degrees north latitude na. Okay? Winter solstice, untong tutok ha, untong tutok ni siya. Shortest day. Ang solar altitude, nara diri ang adlaw, murag hapon. Kini, alas 12 ni sa unto. Okay? 26 degrees. Uh, sa spring, during equinox, 50 degrees. Mone siya. Equal days and night. Okay? Summer solstice sa 80 degrees north. Dito na ni sa North Pole, the pit. Okay? Summer, unto na siya. Nara, adlaw, 33 degrees. Okay? Karun pa nag -abot. Nahurut na na ng data. Okay. Okay. Tanawa po ni siya. Uh, this is another one. Look. If the sun's angle is 90 degrees, okay, directly on top of our head, ang shadows na adri sa ubos, morning kahoy, for example, ang shadow diha. Think of it as one unit between rays. Ang area nga na-exposed dito is one foot. Pero, kung ang solar angle or sol oh, solar altitude is 45 degrees, Ang 1 unit, okay, ang area nga iyahang ma-expose is 1.4 units na. Kumbaga, 
one unit of the sun's energy is spread over an area 1.4 times than in adding a setup. Okay? Kine, 30 degrees. Okay, 30 degrees ang solar angle. Two units na ang area nga ma-expose sa one unit. Okay, you can think of this as very similar to what we experience during mornings or to and afternoons, di ba? In the morning, you will feel nga di pa kayo init. It's because, ing ani ang sun's rays, gababag. Ang one unit of the sun's energy is spread over two units of area. Pero ikaudto, it's set up like this. Nga ang one unit of the sun's energy is spread over an area nga one unit. Does that make sense? Ba? Yung gaya ninyo, makatingo ko eh. <laughs> Sige lang. Okay? Uh, another pod, another pod is, here's another one. Okay? Kaniha, one, kung ang solar angle is gamay, ang maximum ini is 90 degrees ha? ang one unit of the sun's energy is spread over a larger area. Kung ang solar angle na to 90 degrees or dako, ang one unit of energy is spread over a smaller area, which is one unit lang po. Okay? Ang pagka-spread, think of a flashlight nga atong pasigaon, iatubang na to sa wall. Kung idirekta na to sa wall, you would see a smaller image. Pero kung atong ibaba gamay, ipingis na to gamay, you would see nga uh, mas dako ang image nga mo project dito sa wall pero not as bright as the original. ba? Now, on top of that, ang atmosphere pod nga maagian, okay, o buntag sayo or hapon or during the winter solstice or summer solstice, mo change pod. So, for example, kung directly overhead ang sun, okay, Ang kabag-on sa atmosphere, think of it as one. One unit thickness sa atmosphere na agian sa adlaw. Pero kung ang sun's angle is 80 degrees na, it's 1.02 na. Kung 70 degrees na, nagkaubos, nagkaubos, okay, 1.06 na. 60 degrees, 1.15, okay, ang atmosphere. 40, 50, ug ubos na dyan kayo, dool na sa horizon, 10 times na ang kabag-on sa atmosphere nga iyahang agian. Kung zero na naana sa horizon, 45 times na sa atmosphere ang iyahang agian. Now remember, some of the sun's energy okay, is scattered by the atmosphere. Although, dili tanan. We go back to the original figure. Kini, tanawa. Kung naa sa horizon, this is okay, ang kini nga ray sa sun Think of this as one unit between this. It's spread over a larger area. And then, ang atmosphere nga iyang agian is from here, kutub din he. Pero ang taas-taas na atong solar angle, ang atmosphere nga agian, gikan din he, kutub din he. It's spread over that area. Put. Okay, and so on. Just like how I explained earlier. Kung vertical ang sun's rays, like this, Okay, 90 degrees siya with respect to horizontal. And it is spread over a smaller area. It will pass through a thinner atmosphere. One unit lang. Pero huwag na agad siya sa horizon na din eh, baga na ang yung agian. Okay. Does that make sense? Nasamot kalibog. Uh, bagbasa ra mo ano yun niya? Okay. So, di rin lang sa takutob. Kapoy na sige, gyaw yaw eh. Lain na punto sunod. Kini ang atmosphere. Oh, climatological seasons. Di araw. Astronomical season. March. Tanawa ni kita kung i-mention ninyo. Nga na delay Ang astronomical season. March, April, uh, March to June. Spring. March, April, May, June. Summer. June, July, August, September. Autumn. Decem September to December Winter, December to March Pero ang climatological Monis, yeah? March, April, May Ang spring, June, July, August Ang summer, September, October, November Ang fall or or autumn Then December, January, February Ang 
winter. Alright? Kids, wala question so far. Ato ning padayunan siguro next meeting. Uh, mga one hour naman takapin. Okay? So, if you have questions, eh, since I will be saving the video automatic manisiya, just throw those questions as comments. Ha? Para matubag na to later. Okay? Salamat. O niya, katong uban, pwede na ninyo ni review later. Okay? I will be posting your your next, next task shortly later or umaba. Alright? Magpabot ko og mga say, give me I'll give you around two, two to three minutes for questions. sa 2 to 3 minutes eh. sige babay na ko i-comment lang ha okay pag-post lang o question sa kuan sa ato ang group okay babay na ko i-pull out of the tanaos kong screen eh. mas nindot kita itong naamo alright wala pa siguro may question karon kay paminaw ko wahi kayo mabot din na ninyo babay see you next week na po po hon alright Kung na question like I said, just post something on the group or comment to a relate in, in an existing slide or an existing topic. I comment dito in your question para di na tamag sugo to bagong thread. All right, bye bye. See you next week, po.